Welcome back to my vlog. Sorry if you all hear my air in the background. It's mid end of September, basically mid September, and we are still in 80 something degree weather. And while the people who love summer are so excited, this is actually weird to me. Like, it's not supposed to be this warm still. Like, it's literally summer weather. You can wear dresses, you can wear, and even besides that, besides the fact that we're having a environmental crisis, I love fall, you know, I'm a fall baby and I wanna wear my boots and I wanna wear my, you know, neutrals, like. So today is the 17th of September. This is my birthday weekend and my birthday is this Sunday, the 19th. And you know, I know that it's summer, like summer weather out, but I'm a fall baby. So I have on neutrals today and I have on this really cute set. I'm gonna insert a picture that I got actually from Amazon. I see people who buy like loungewear, athleisure and shoes and all that stuff from Amazon all the time. And I've always been like really hesitant to do that because I'm like, oh, it's probably not gonna fit or like, is there any cute stuff that come in plus size? And you know, I'm a pretty true to size, like three to four X, like a real three to four X. I'm talking about 24, size 24 US. So I was like really, really hesitant, but I had saw someone like post up some like athleisure that was like really cute, like, it was athleisure, but you can wear it like out and about, like nice athleisure that you can like dress up and dress down. And they got it from Amazon. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna give it a shot. Like this was a straight size person too. They weren't plus size, but I was like, I'm just gonna give it a shot. And so I looked through and, you know, typed in, I think like loungewear or something like that. And I ended up coming across uh, these. I got it in this color, which is like a, I guess it's like a taupe or, you know, mocha type of color. And then I also got it in like a, um, charcoal like gray it's like a mixture of like gray and black and i was going to also get in like a caramel color but i was like mm. i ended up like canceling that one because i wasn't even sure if they were gonna fit so i was just like let me just pick the two that i really like and so i got them in the mail and I pulled them out immediately when I pulled them out I was like oh yeah like these are definitely gonna fit I don't know how flattering it's gonna be but they're gonna fit so I tried it on and absolutely love it I wish the pants were a little bit thicker but it's a shirt and top for like 20 something dollars I mean you can't really expect to be too high high quality they are good quality I think it's well made the pants are a little bit thin so it's good material for like when you're in that summer and fall transitional period. I would also wear it in the winter just because even in the winter, I just don't really layer up as much as I probably could. So I got in th these two colors and it's a really good material. I love that the sleeves are like really long. They are marketed as short sleeve. And if you look at the model who wears it, who's thin size, of course, it's like really like a little bit oversized on, on the model. And for me, it's a little bit oversized, but it's, it's not fitted, but it fits lovely. I love it. I'm going to go and buy like a few more colors. Yeah, so I got on this, the pants are the same color. They're like uh, fitted at the bottom, just like a thin jogger, I guess you can call it. They're fitted at the bottom and it has like drawstring around the waist. Super comfortable, super cute. And I just feel like they're perfect to wear like out and about. Like I'm just going to dinner tonight with my family and I just wanted to wear like some cute, like a cute kind of like dress down <laughs> outfit. So I have this one and I put on my jewelry. I have on my bracelet here. I have on some rings, I have on earrings, you know, you can just like dress it up and I have on some. I bought my first pair of Air Max that I've, I don't know if I've ever had Air Max, but if I have had Air Max, 
I haven't had Air Max since I was like at least like a kid. And I cannot believe that they are still so expensive. Like Air Max were 90 something dollars, 100 something dollars when I was a kid. And you know, that was like 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And they're still like 90 something dollars, 100 something dollars, but I wanted like a thick, quality like a thick sole quality sneaker and i was actually looking at like all different kind of air max any gym shoe that i get any boot anything that i get i like it to have a thick sole because i'm heavier number one so i don't like to wear flat shoes because they don't really support me and because i'm heavier wearing like a flat shoe like they won't really last you know they'll be uncomfortable and they won't last so i like to get thick shoes for that reason but also I just like the look I love how thick kind of like chunky shoes and boots look I just love it and so it's also because you know of the look of it the aesthetic so I was nervous because it's kind of like a you know Air Max is a it's not a really thin shoe and so I was like oh man should I get the 10 or the 11? The 11 look huge and I'm so glad that I got the 10 and didn't get the 11 because the 11 would have been too big. And it's already a white shoe, which I feel like makes it look even bigger. <laughs> and I didn't really, like I could have gone back and like replaced them or whatever, but I didn't really feel like doing the running around. So I'm so glad I just went with my, trusted my instinct that I would have rather them been a little bit tighter than to be too big and they fit perfect so that's awesome and I also like I'm gonna take a whole picture of the outfit hopefully but I also just match this outfit with this bag which is in like the same exact color but it coordinates like really well this is my size protect black women bag and I didn't know that size I don't know if it's size or CISE I knew that they were black owned, but I don't know why I thought that they were black owned by a woman or like a Finn and it's a man and like that's okay or whatever because it's still black owned and, and even if you think of like Telfer, it's black owned, but it's not by a, a woman. I really want to see more black owned like bag brands that are owned by women and femmes. Like I know there's one Sonique Saturday who I really like her bags. I like her bags, but I don't love it. Like I wouldn't wear that bag on a regular basis, but I think it's a luxury bag. So you wouldn't wear luxury bags on a regular basis. But I kind of feel like if I'm going to spend hundreds of dollars on a bag, I want to be able to wear it on a regular basis. That's just me. But I probably will at some point still like buy a sonic saturday bag at some point especially since i learned that she's also a virgo and i thought that she was a leo for years like ever since i've been following her but she's a virgo a september virgo at that like every virgo i know that's like an influencer or something like that like they're really on some boss shit and i know there's that's like a like i'm not tuning my horn or nothing like that and i know it's kind of like a stereotype too that like Virgos are like super workaholics and like all that type of stuff but I, it, it isn't about that I just feel like it's like the drive and the integrity that like Virgos have it really is unmatched you know and they do it they make it look so fucking effortless you know and I'm a Virgo I'm saying they but I guess we should say we I struggle with not being like humble but I should say we because I feel like we as Virgos or people with strong Virgo placement, you know, we're very kind of like business minded, career driven people and we get shit done like major shit done and we make that shit look effortless. And let me tell you, it ain't effortless. Let me tell you, it ain't. But we make it look that way. And I think that's a, just an unmatched, uh, an energy that's unmatched, you know? Anyway, so so next Saturday's bags really range from like 325 to like five something, you know, like so I do want to get a bag. I want to get a black owned luxury bag, but um I want to make sure it's one that I feel comfortable wearing casually. You know what I mean? I don't dress up. I'm a pretty simple dressing person. So I want to be able to get a bag that I can wear like this. And that's why I really like Louis Vuitton. 
I know it's not black owned. I know that, you know, it's canceled and all this other stuff. I love Louis Vuitton. And if I can have a whole bunch of Louis Vuitton bags, I would. Because I feel like Louis Vuitton just has like a basic print. Like a lot of their bags have like basic prints. So, you know, you can wear it literally with athleisure. You can wear it with loungewear. You can wear it when you're dressing up. You can wear it when you're dressing down. I just absolutely love the aesthetic of Louis Vuitton and, it, and the quality. It's worth it to me. Like I want the luxury bags that I like in general. You know what I mean? Like whether it's Telfer or it's, you know, Sonique Saturday or it's Sice or it's Louis Vuitton, um, which is really the only like big luxury brand that I really like. Like I don't like, what's that brand? Birkin bags? Like I probably would never ever even get my hands on a Birkin bag, but they're so ugly to me. They're ugly bags, you know? Like, I don't like Birkin bags. I, I don't like buying stuff just because of the name. Like, I don't like Birkin bags. I don't, I don't like them. I'm not a big fan of, like, Prada, is it? You know, I don't really t tend to like their stuff. Chanel, I like Chanel. I tend to like Chanel stuff, and I like Louis Vuitton. And that's really about it. All those other bags, Valentino and Balenciaga, like, I just... I'm not gonna buy something just because of the name, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna scrape up my money to buy stuff just because of the name. Like, I wanna actually like it, you know? Um, and I feel like a lot of people get stuff just because of the, the name. It's just because they have the money to be able to get it. You know, whether you're getting the, the real version or you're getting the high quality dupe, which for a lot of people with these Birkins, it's a high quality dupe, we know. And I don't, no shame in that. Like, get what get what you can. But it's like, some of that shit is ugly. And we didn't need to be real honest about that. So, yeah. Speaking of, like, expensive things that we need to be honest about, iPhone just dropped the iPhone 13. And I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm tired. Like, Apple is giving us the same person who gets cosmetic surgery every single year. Like, I'm just tired of it. You know? Like, and the thing is, it's like, I like Apple not necessarily because of what you can do, but I like the aesthetic because if I'm being honest, I've had iPhone, I've had other versions of phones. And when it comes to like camera quality and operation of the device and um, storage and all that stuff, Android got Apple Beat, specifically the Samsung Galaxy. The camera is better, the storage is better. I think it's just an overall better phone. So it, it just is like, it just is. And right now I have the 11 Pro Max iPhone. Before I had the 11 Pro Max, I had the, the one before the 11 <laughs> with the single camera. Oh, fuck, I forget the names, it's just too many of them. And now they come out with the 13 and they change the camera again. And it still doesn't take better photos. Like it still doesn't take better photos people you get iphone photos and you still have to edit them you know to get it for it to have the look that you're that you're looking for versus honestly with the samsung galaxy when i used to dabble into photography and stuff like that i took such greater much greater photos with the samsung galaxy than i ever did with the iphone i'm just being honest i'm just being honest and it's just like apple knows that they're apple and like they can give you whatever they give us and we're gonna take it but to be honest for it to be a phone that's over a thousand dollars and stuff the camera could be better i don't know what's going on with the camera but it sucks <laughs> you know like it sucks and i'm not a person who doesn't know how to like take pictures you know what i mean like it sucks you know like it does suck so anyway i am now heading south because we have dinner plans tonight and it's in naperville so we have to drive out there when i tell you this drink got a chokehold on me so strong it's chai ice chai latte from starbucks 
with the pumpkin spice foam topping. The, the foam, pumpkin foam topping. It got a choke on, hold on me so strong. It's ridiculous. I think I, I did mention in the last video that I'm not really drinking coffee like that. So it's like, oh, my, my, my. Anyway, so we have dinner plans for my birthday at seven, but the restaurant is in Naperville. So we are, I'm heading to my folks and we're just all gonna take one car. And uh, before I get go there, I need to stop at the Target that's nearby because I ordered toilet paper for pickup. And I had also ordered like some body oil, but they ran out. And I guess they don't sell the vitamin E oil anymore. So I gotta figure out where I get that from. Which I'm sure I can get it from Amazon. I know we shouldn't be shopping on Amazon, but fuck, you can literally find anything there. And so until you show me a black owned place or brown owned place where you can find any fucking thing on it, like you do on Amazon, be shopping on Amazon sometimes. Forgive me, we're not perfect. Anyway, so that's that. I most likely will still be vlogging the rest of the day and rest of the weekend. I don't really have much else planned <laughs> for my birthday. I bought myself some candles from Marshall. I bought like some candles, and I actually think they're all the same brand. <laughs> but I got like three candles. I got like a big one, like a really big one that I've been looking for. It's so cute. And I got um, some other ones for like my countertop. So that really big one I probably put on my table. But I really want to get some more stuff to put on the, the table. So other than that, I will be vlogging again. So I will see you all shortly. <laughs> Do you have a pumpkin fact for us today? Yeah. Did you know that pumpkins are in the same food group as cucumbers? I did not know that. Did anyone know that? No? All right. Does anybody want to say hi? Have any questions or comments for Peter? Raise your hand if you do. So I'm at the apple orchard, I guess. I personally hate doing things like this because it's so, like I don't like being outside with the bugs. It's crowded. It's dirty. <laughs> And I wore white sneakers. <laughs> um, so I maybe came here for my niece, but um, it's okay that the weather is pretty good for it. They have some decent stuff to do, but you know, I'm ready to go. This is for the kids, <laughs> not adults. So I'm ready to go. I think we're leaving after. They have like a little, little ride that the kids can get on. And I think we're gonna leave after that because we've been here for, a little over an hour now. There's only so much you can do. So yeah, everyone's here with no mask on too. So I'm really ready to go. <laughs> Some birthday gifts and all these little trinkets that you see here my aunt got for me so <laughs> I put them on my TV stand I just bought this candle for my table and it coordinates like its colors like hues of blue and it's so cute 
I'm gonna end up putting like some larger pieces in the TV stand, but I think that's a really cute start. I also got from this aunt the sage and eucalyptus candles. They smell amazing. She got all this from Target. I got two of these. My good friend got me this candle. And let me just get it open. It comes in this beautiful box and this is how it looks. It's in a white ceramic container or glass. It's little speckles of glitter in there. It smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> I also got a necklace that I don't feel like unwrapping, but um, she got me a necklace as well. So yeah, I had a nice chill birthday. It just took me like two hours to get home because it's like last day of Riot Fest, I think. And there were, it's Hispanic um, Heritage Month. And I think they were having like some events and stuff like that so it literally took me two hours to get home when it would usually take like 45 minutes so i am just going to wrap it up for the night i am going to uh, get ready for work tomorrow because i didn't call off i waited like too late before i realized that this was the following monday after my birthday and I had already scheduled a bunch of stuff. So I am going to work tomorrow and I have like a full day. Uh, maybe I'll take off like this upcoming Friday or something like just to give myself a day. But yeah, I'm just going to take it easy, chill out. I just realized like what my setup under my TV stand that binge is probably gonna like knock it everywhere. I'm gonna enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> anyway, now thank you all so much for watching this video, this uh, birthday vlog, chill birthday vlog. Maybe a little different from what you're used to YouTubers uploading for their birthdays, but I was intentional about this being a really chill birthday for me and just me really being in a spirit of gratitude and just reflecting and you know, this is the first birthday year like the first year of my life that I'm like really really excited you know and I'm so proud of myself and the person that I've become and am becoming and how I've evolved and how I've grown in so many ways so this is a very special year for me I, I really really feel like it is and so you know it, it is a chill one nonetheless but next year I'll be 30 so <laughs> I'm really hoping to do a big for the big 3-0, but nonetheless, I really, really enjoyed, you know, this birthday. I enjoyed it being nice and chill. I enjoyed it spending it with the people that I love most. And I'm always just so taken aback and filled with so much all that people, you know, like remember my birthday and they want to you know spend time with me for my birthday or, or do something nice like give me a gift you know like it's a gesture that never goes unnoticed for me and it's one that is never really expected so i'm always just so grateful even though year after year it seems to be that way <laughs> but you know i think it it's just i'm very very grateful for it so Thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.